हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुरेश एंड टुडे यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड कंप्यूटिंग विद पाई टॉर्च एंड वी यूज हियर हाउ वी कैन यूज हॉर अवर्ड विथ पाई टॉर्च सो लास्ट टाइम वी लर्न अबाउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड कंप्यूटिंग विथ टेंसर प्लो एंड विथ हॉर अवर्ड सो इन पार्ट थ्री वी लर्न अबाउट हॉर अवर्ड टेंसर फ्लो एंड इन दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट distributed computing with pytorch uh, with horovard so uh, so first we want to we, first we have to install uh, horovard pytorch so if you generally install pip install py horovard so it will not uh, come uh, including pytorch uh, library with horovard so you have to spe specify horovard with install with pytorch so you have to do like that so you have to do specify horovard with pytorch equal to 1 then pip install horovard so it will install the uh, pytorch with horovard after that you have to uh, you, you have to import horovard so generally uh, last time like if you to use keras or tensorflow then horovard dot tensorflow horovard dot keras here if you use pytorch then horovard dot torch we have to use and we have to as a name is use name is svd and then we have to utilize it uh, if you want to uh, use horovard for distributed company for multi gpu then we have to initialize it then we have okay uh, and then for example we have 2 gpu 3 gpu 4 gpu and number of gpu so hvd dot local uh, underscore our rank will define one gpu per process so uh, that's for pin that's for pin gpu to be used to process local rank then uh, that is the common process of uh, machine learning model we have to create a data set we have to create a data loader and then we have to build we have to create a network that we have to train and if you want to gpu then we have to do model dot gpu so this part is missing i'm not uh, including here this part because of its uh, this is lot of line of code so i want to doubt make you confuse it yeah but i want to understand more about how you can use the horovard uh, with pytorch so similar like last chapter we uh, we learned we have to a basic of we have to uh, select our basic basic optimizer so here for example i use sgd optimizer and pass the model parameter here for optimizer and that optimizer we have to compute over the horovard distributed system so just that optimizer we have to pass with horovard horovard distributed optimizer hvd dot distributed optimizer and that one pass to the pass in horovard that function and whatever model parameter we have to pass here then again we have to broadcast the all uh, the broadcast parameter from rank 0 to all other process so broadcast parameter rank 0 means here whatever parameter we are updating then all broadcast will come again back to the i will after for example we have four number of the gpu uh, then uh, it will uh, include a, a, it uh, the every process uh, every process yeah every data like in particular batch size but uh, particular batch we have to split the batch in according to the multi multiple gpu and uh, one batch uh, the splitted batch uh, will go to the particular name space gpu and then all of the gpu run their uh, uh, run their process and compute the gradient and get back to the result and that get back to the result we have to specify for other all process rank 0 so that's used for that and then uh, whatever we want to run every epoch the loader and then optimization training going on so uh, this is the basic things uh, uh, i am explaining how you can use that hvd distributor optimizer with uh, pytorch so uh, this is the basic flow and now we have to understand uh, with complete example with uh, i choose mnis data set and how it it will work and how we can run in the gpu so next part i will show as a complete example so uh, this uh, th uh, this code also available Uh, you no need to worry about this code this code available in horovard uh, documentation for the pytorch also and same example also available in the horovard documentation i just explaining the example here you so same thing like you you want to install the horovard 
then whatever you want to use then you have to import multiprocessing neural networks and then then optimizer and then you have to import that pytorch distributed we want to compute all of the gradient hvd then we have to import that hvd dot torques as a hvd then our para our parameter we have to set for example this uh, batch size what will be the base size default 64 and what will be te test base size epoch i will run 10 epochs and number of the um, and number of the epoch train 10 and learning rate so 0, 0.0 is default learning rate momentum will be because uh, as it is with momentum we have to use here and uh, so so on all of these things we have to select then uh, uh, in previous part i i told you that data set and model we have to uh, we have to create here one data set and one model the data set we use here mnist and model i will show here at the basic sequential model uh, basic sequential model is created here uh, so there are few convolution layer and few dropout layer and then fully connected layer and so on so we have created a forward uh, network layer so uh, convolution layer then layer relu then convolution then max pool then relu so that is the zone that network then we have to uh, build a training so whatever i showing here training steps so that's a created training function we have to pass the epoch and it will run for every block that that training another thing like uh, yeah so this is the uh, this part we are uh, uh, I want to tell you this part especially because of whatever there are two things in generally in uh, data parallelism use data in data parallel data parallelism use so two things uh, one thing uh, like uh, you can use a as a ring all reduce and you can use a synchronous way so in synchronous way you have to need a parameter server then all the gpu for example your 5 gpu then compute happened on 5 gpu and that gradient goes to the one parameter server and grade and gradient will be update and it will it will uh, uh, after updating the gradient it will use for the next step so th that will use so here you can select like like all reduce your ring all reduce your other whatever parameters you want to use so you can select here the all reduce so all reduce how it work i already explained in uh, distributed computing part one so you can see there uh, same for evolution purpose test so it was not different from this so yeah for, for testing purpose i i created a test uh, method for that then uh, then okay we have to check the is uh, like code is available or not then we have to decide that what we have to do again so, so we we set our model we set uh, uh, we already uh, we set our uh, uh, data set so we download data set we set our model and set the parameter and uh, we we did uh, write a uh, we already write a training function then matrix average then test function and we check okay coda is available or not then we in slice we in slice uh, uh, hvd library so we all we in slice it and uh, then we have to uh, like a uh, number of worker how many number of worker we have to set here so we set how many number, number of worker here then i have to like download so here the missing part in last tutorial we have to download the data set so here uh, we download the ms data set and create a same uh, data loader data loader train data loader and test data loader so that's created and that can that you will be used in the training so this is downloaded and uh, then uh, simple like this this is uh, this is the trend data loader this is the test data loader and then we have to uh, i already created the net net class for network and create a object for that and uh, whatever uh, by, by default we have like we add some we have to do yeah uh, we we have to uh, 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 for example learning rate whatever to do for learning rate it will be scale yeah right so that's we can define here okay we have to scale the learning learning rate yeah we have to use a default so that we'll do here and again uh, we are checking so again uh, we are checking which uh, backend we have to use so here there are two backend available one is the mti backend another is an ncl 
so we use nccl built-in backend so i already installed nccl so nccl backend is used you have to select which backend you want to use so generally my choice is nccl we can install mpi also mpi also so nccl and mpi both is the uh, peer to peer or point to point uh, process communication so internally communicate with the all the gpu for the update gradient and the communicate other process so that will be used then the basic optimizer we slide and that optimizer we have to we have to uh, pass to the uh, that hvd broadcast optimizer so th that is the hvd distributed optimizer and we pass that optimizer here and whatever optimizer that uh, whatever opti uh, what will be the optimizer here optimizer will compute the gradient and update the gradient and then pass to the uh, like next like if you are you if we are using ring already then it will pass to the uh, uh, the next successor uh, gpu so uh, uh, so 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 uh, hvd distributed optimizer will uh, generally use its wrap the optimizer with with this uh, in, inbuilt distributed optimizer so th this is the main part uh, generally if you want to don't want to distribute here then we have to write a normal dis n normal function that for computing and then pass that optimizer but here we are we want to use hvd distributed optimizer then okay we use we use here so that optimizer we we are using here for uh, computing here i want to run here gpu so every book i will so i will start the training so I start training here and i want to show the show the state of gpu how gpu is utilized okay uh, gpu utilize 40c here and uh, on watt 73 and number percentage of utilization gpu here for for 15 15 so such kind of uh, gpu utilization happen here so you will see that that process is running and uh, yeah so it's it is utilize the gpu and it's, it's running so uh epoch is running so every like we have thousand we have sixty thousand of number of sample then total fifty thousand number of percent we are getting the accuracy 93 percent and loss is 2.0 then next epoch will run next next epoch also uh, next week also then and we and loss also reduce and we are increasing the accuracy then again next epoch will run yeah oh so accuracy increase so so on training will uh, will process and training will go so this is all about uh, uh, like forward pytorch with the uh, amnist example and uh, you can find this code also in that uh, uh, forward uh, documentations that that's easily available i just explain how it's done so thank you thank you all